All right, we got two backpacks getting packed up. A couple snowshoes. Huh, wonder where we're going. Hey everybody, it's Sharon and Ed from Occidentalist Act Outdoors. And it is March 20th and we had to hightail it to Idaho to find some snow this time. Um, we are outside, uh, well, north of Boise, yeah? Uh, Gold Fork Snow Park and we're backpacking into a yurt for a couple of days. We originally had this plan from way back in March of 2020 and of course we all know what happened then. <laughs> the whole world shut down including our reservation being canceled so this was our next chance to get back up here uh, and hike into a yurt and spend a couple nights it's kind of wintry uh, <laughs> there was absolutely no snow driving up here but just as we got to the pass uh, we did run into some snow uh, we brought our skis and snowshoes but decided to snowshoe because there hadn't been any fresh snow lately and uh, thinking that's gonna be a little a little better going with the uh, snowshoes so we're all loaded up for a couple nights uh, at the yurt and uh, we'll see you when we get, we get there <laughs> It's also like the mid 40s, so kind of warm for a winter hike. But the sun is out, the sky is blue, <laughs> and we got the trail to ourselves. We'll have to take it. <laughs> All right, I think we've got a glimpse of the yurt, and it's going to be right on the top of this hill here. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just sits back from the edge of that. Hill. That's where we're headed. Well, it appears we're not the only ones on the trail today. It doesn't look like these tracks were necessarily associated with somebody hiking the trail either not sure this is completely visible but hopefully with the shadow you can see where probably a coyote took off up the hill there through the timber maybe you'll come visit later on Got the yurt. Just one more, one more ridge. We're almost there. Our objective. Just wanted to note. Pretty much anywhere there's an intersection out here, they've got it really well, well signed. With the you are here map and everything of course you always want to bring your own map i'm sure it might be a little bit more disorienting in a snowstorm but pretty well signed okay all right we made it. <laughs> We've arrived at the Skyline Yard. It's a pretty steady climb all the way up here. Just shy of 6,000 feet. But what a beautiful day. Nobody on the trail. Somebody came out of this, it looks like this morning. But uh, anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll cut this off here, but we'll show you around the yurt after a bit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> day one went by way too fast but we've kind of settled into the yurt got a nice fire going 
take a little wander around we're gonna go for a hike tomorrow but uh, here's that Idaho landscape right before the Sun goes down spring equinox 2022 Sure, everybody's wondering what the bathroom situation is. The Skyline Yurt. Nice little bathroom, well stocked. Wet wipes, toilet paper. But the best feature, of course, is the view. All right, we're out and about on day two of our yurt adventure. Just after a little day hike, get some sun in. It's another blue sky day. Can't beat it. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We're trying to track down a pack of wolves. So. <laughs> <laughs> there is a ton of uh, dog trails out here of some sort, and it's not dog dog. It's coyote or wolf or fox or something. Some of them are real fresh and some of them are very old, but uh, anyway, it's kind of interesting. See a little bit of sign of activity out here, and uh, we're going to continue on to the Ridge Trail, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good views of the mountains up there. Nobody else out and about on the trail, no sign of any tracks, and uh, that's the way we like it. Alright, there is the Skyline Yurt again, tucked away in its little patch of green tree spared by the Pioneer Fire. Did open up some nice vistas though, I have to admit. Well, if you're coming up here and wondering about the wood supply, you probably don't have too much to fear. This is just the outside pile. Uh, we're here in March, and at least by the estimates on the uh, inside lines, it looks like there's probably three cords in here. Surprising to me, it's actually all split as well. I thought we'd be doing some splitting, but uh, you do have the splitting maw. You've got an axe and then a little hatchet. Basically, you just need to make up some kindling. There's a bow saw here, but uh, I think that would just be for uh, if something comes up. Otherwise, you're pretty well set with hardly much to do. You could probably just pick up your kindling off the slivers on the floor, but uh, Really nice pine, ready to make any kindling. Okay, for anybody that's wondering what's inside one of these yurts, we thought we'd take you on a quick little tour here. First of all, when you get to the uh, yurt, you're gonna get a combination uh, about a week or so in advance from Idaho Parks and Recreation Department. Plug that in, of course. Head inside. Right, it's quite spacious. Um, I guess the first thing you might notice, you got a couple bunk beds. So, uh, top and bottom, top and bottom, all equipped with mattresses. Not the best mattresses, I would say, but um, either way, um, good enough. Coming around here. Uh, we do have a pretty good supply of games in this one. A couple puzzles, board games, card games, that sort of thing. Uh, and then of course you got the kitchen area. So drying rack, uh, bleach spray. Uh, these are ours, so don't count on any fresh water. But you can melt 
water, filter it, whatever. Um, triple sink system for dishwashing. Um, lots and lots of utensils as we can see here. So pretty well anything you could think of that you might need to cook a meal. Um, you've got glasses, wine glasses, bowls, plates, coffee cups, you name it. Plenty of dish soap matches, uh, all the other cleaning supplies you can think of that you might need. And then there's a couple odds and ends. It does come with the pour over coffee filter and the pour over coffee, but of course you gotta bring your own coffee. Um, then the cupboard system, you've got your utensils, cutting boards, knives, quite a lot of pans, more pans than some Airbnbs that we've stayed in. Um, this one has quite a supply newspaper for fire starter under here as well and i think this one's just empty um it comes with a uh two burner propane stove it's got the griddle uh teapot this is one of your snow melting buckets um they tell you to bring a couple propane casters per day. We just brought a couple and we haven't gone through one. We've been here a day and there were a few spares. Um, good stock of firewood. We just restocked the kindling. Uh, like I said, we've been using a backpacking filter just to be safe on the water. Um, wood stove that puts out plenty of heat. We've had it pretty much fully damped down most of the time and it's plenty warm in here. Um, lots of uh, hangers, I suppose, for maybe a little bit stormier weather than we've had uh, if you want to be drying your stuff out uh, pretty cool table um, with a map of the area usgs quads built right in uh, to the table um, folding chairs there's six total chairs we've got a couple outside on the deck and a couple in here and a couple to spare so um, got to roll out futon um, honestly double um, again, not the most comfortable, but it does the job. Uh, and a little bench. Uh, it does have LED lighting. So these switches here, you've got a kitchen, a stove light, overhead lights, a reading light, and an actual light down in the wood shed as well. So um, pretty, pretty well clipped with lights. We only had those on for a couple hours because it was light until like almost eight o'clock last night um, but seemed to be plenty of power for the lights of course you got a skylight built into these yurts we do have that open for just a little bit of fresh air ventilation um, and yeah that's pretty much it for for the yurt um, if you're like us we were kind of um, there is a, a list that you're provided and those sorts of things of so what to expect but it's just nice to get a little visual I think about what's here so hopefully that's helpful and uh, we'll see you back out on the trail we'll be leaving in the morning this trip is brought to you by the canned meat from chata we have chillerio el original 100 percent carne de cerdo so we've got pulled pork right from baja mexico it's got excesso calorios, <laughs> excesso sodio, and excesso gracias saturbius. Sure, and, and it's our canned meat for the. We're going to do this with a little bit of um, lettuce, jalapeno, smoked cheese, and pulled pork. Can't, doesn't get any better than that. Mm. On a tortilla. Here we go. Well, I just thought I'd cover a little bit about planning for this trip. Um, I think I mentioned before, we planned this trip back in 2020 and got canceled due to the pandemic. But uh, uh, I would just want everybody to know that uh, these can be reserved six months in advance. And it, at least in our experience, the couple times we've reserved them, we did need to reserve them that six months in advance. Um, you can find these online at Reserve America. Uh, they're rented by the Idaho Parks and Recreation Department. I assume it's in cooperation with the Boise National Forest since they're on national forest lands, but they, they do uh, run through IDPR who seems to maintain them. Uh, our understanding is they maybe make a loop every week or two, kind of come through and 
do a little cleaning, restocking, check on the yurts, that sort of thing. Um, for us, we came in with backpacks, um, pretty well fully loaded um, as far as, you know, similar things we'd carry in the summer, except for not a tent or a sleeping pad, but uh, food, um, cooking, fuel. Of course, it come, this comes with the stove, but uh, uh, we came in with a little bit of water. Um, from reading the visitor logs, it sounds like uh, the more uh, energetic or adventurous come in with uh, sleds fully stocked with uh, additional beverages. Um, so maybe we'll have to consider that next time but uh, we didn't we didn't run the sled this time uh, but yeah backpacks were sufficient to bring in what we needed and of course these are very well uh, stocked so once you get here uh, you got all your your wood you need you've got all your cooking supplies that sort of thing so just bring your food and uh, your sleeping bags and uh, definitely bring some sort of pillow we just brought an inflatable pillow um, and you'll be good to go. And, uh, not like these yurts need any more publicity or anything, but hopefully that's useful to you if you're planning a trip. That's it. We hope you enjoyed the trip.